All right, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? In today's quick video, I'm gonna be showing you how to repair your electronic hair clippers. All right, now the most common problem with electronic hair clippers is the spring goes bad. All right, so it either break or it snap. You know, it just get bad after, you know, age. It's always applying pressure. So it's kind of rusting out. So when the thing finally do break, um, what you can do is cut off an end, all right? And then just eliminate some springs, either extend them you know like take those loops and then make the actual being longer and then just bend it the same angle and same way as the other one okay and make sure that the top has more pressure and is higher than the two hooks all right now if the spring breaks in the center at the square where you're going to need to apply pressure you can also use a paper clip and bend the paper clip to fit the shape of this start with the square then add a couple loops. It'll probably be, I think it was two loops for the paper clip. I have used the paper clip to make them work um, just the same as well. All right. So um, now once you get these um, fixed, whether you use a paper clip or you still had enough left on your old one, this is the easiest way to repair them. I know it's hard to get this spring and normally the only way um, is to probably get a new pair of clippers. So uh, this is just one of the quick fix solutions I came up with that I figured I'd share for the people that I was asking. I saw a couple of people in the comments wondering how you would go about fixing them. Um, now, as far as the blade, you're going to want it to where um, it's got a little lift when you sit it down. All right. But you won't put this on first. You're going to ignore that for now. The first thing you're going to want to do is put back that spring and make sure that you got a flush touch to the metal. All right, so it's a little clip that you can see there underneath, and that is where the square piece needs to go to apply the pressure. So that's the first thing you want to put in place, and then the two springs will fit into their slots here by themselves. All right, so what you're going to do is take it down like this. All right, you're going to simply take it, and then you're going to push the spring down. Try to be able to see what I'm doing here. Right, I just do it through the camera. All right. And then under. And now you see where that is? Kind of connected under there. Just push it on in. And you see how these two can still fit in their spots? That's what you want. All right. So now that those two in place, you're going to check from the side. And you can see, you know, we got this. We got a, a flush touch to the metal now to hold it in place. Um, it do look a little crippled, <laughs> you know, I mean, it is, I mean, it's missing limbs at this point. I mean, um, but that's what, how you would go about repairing that clip because it's hard to get this clip or like I said, use a paper clip, either one will work. Then you'll go about, um, reattaching, um, the actual blade, which all you have to do is get it in place. And then you just simply lift the spring so that it's on top of the plastic, um, Okay, and then that's one side, all right? Um, just do one side at a time until you get it to pop, to go to its hole. You see how it, now it's in its hole, and then you do this, repeat the same for the other side. Just slightly lift it. And now, once it's on top, again, just slide it into its place. Now, once you got them both back in their holes, you will notice um, if you don't have your coils bent straight, you can kind of see that slant to it. You can readjust this uh, and re-angle it by um, bending your cables, you know, depending on how you bend those and how straight you make them be determined on how straight your it'll be in the end all right so you can kind of see that's that'd be fine for me <clears throat> for for the demonstration so now you know you would just take them put them back on the clippers
And there you go. And now, and it repaired. Nice and straight. <laughs> what I'll have to need, even buy a new spring or a new pair of clippers. All right, so that's just one quick way that if you want to repair your electronic clippers, what I'll have to, you know, get a new pair or go through the house while trying to find a spring. That's a quick and easy solution uh, to get it done. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, hit that like, drop a subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.